Sunday the 6th of January saw an awesome start to the 2019 surfing calendar, with the finals of the annual Single Fin Festival kicking off at Burley Heads on the Gold Coast of Australia. Many surfing greats such as Joel Parkinson and Shane Dorian turned up to enjoy the famous point break and compete against the locals and legends on pre-1985 single fin surfboards. The historical and grassroots significance of the single fin competition draws more passionate surfers and spectators every year, and this year's event was even more significant as it marked the first ever round of the Heritage Division, which gathered a handful of world surfing legends and gave them the opportunity to relive their glory days and demonstrate retirement done well. Seven of the world's top Salty Sea Dogs were given 20 minutes in a straight final to showcase their current form and pioneering styles. It was Sydney-born surfing great Shane Horan who kicked things off with a couple of early rides, setting the bar higher for the other veterans. He continued to fail around like a grommet, cleaning up on the wave tally in front of the local crowd, who gave him plenty of support. And he refrained from the antics, such as in recent years. Shane, okay. okay. world Tour competitor Rob Bain started his run with a solid turn, and finished off casually before backing up his heat with some powerful hits, showing the strength and agility of a grizzly in mating season. An intense opening exchange had the crowd pumped, as most of the great goms scored decent set waves, with local legend Guy Allroyd getting a few clean arcs on a foamy one, before working a few runners to the rocks where he was able to slam up a couple of vertical snaps. Nine Eye World Champ Mark Ocalupo found a few waves in the open class, but struggled to find the right one in the heritage class and eventually took a dive into fifth spot, but he seemed pretty happy with the result. Peter Harris, who won the monumental Stobbies contest at Burley almost 40 years ago, demonstrated some graceful and effective surfing on the rocky, where he can still be found groveling most days. It's just a shame it was after the siren. Oh, look at this. He doesn't mind the barrel of the team. No, oh, 30. Old school. And he's still going. You reckon he'd pull that? American icon, Brad Gerlach, winner of the Stubby's Throw in 85, was picky about the right wave and ended up chasing scraps, which is a shame because he was on the tear all weekend. The girls request to extend the heat times from 20 to 30 minutes as a kind of old timer's concession was probably justified, and I for one could have handled another 10 minutes watching two time world champ. 987 Pipe Master Thomas Victor Carroll absolutely shredding his way to victory in the historical first ever heritage round at Bill Long's 22nd annual Burley Head Single Fin Contest. Possibly the most fun and chill surfing event ever. The only place where you get to watch the world's top grade groms scrap for bragging rights on single fins and show us all how getting older doesn't mean losing the froth. The end results were TVC first, Bainey second, Shane missed his usual spot as runner-up and placed third, Livewire in fourth, Oki fifth, the girl will be back next year to try and improve on sixth place, and Peter ended up with the spoon. Congratulations Tom Carroll on adding another convincing win to your epic career. It's been an absolute honour to have you here and we hope to see you next year also. Abby out. Vibe, you know, thanks a lot to Burley Board Riders. Uh, you know, creating this sort of stuff just gold. You know, brings home some just some real authentic feelings. You know, riding a sing single fin and um, and uh, just riding a wave for wave's sake and doing a turn for turn's sake on a single fin is damn epic. And thank you very much, Bill Bonk, for uh, sponsoring and Vonu and, and all the crew and, and these guys here. Thanks. And, Dick Van Stralen, man. He uh, shaped the board that I was riding. And um, a little story behind that. Uh, Joe Ingle, I used to surf against Joe Ingle. He's a good buddy of mine. He passed away. He was like a uh, regular here, even though he was a North End boy. I was in North End. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of North End in my head out there. But uh, I was surfing for Joe. Uh, you know, put it in for Joe. And uh, he's a great, he was an incredible surfer. And I love him to death. Thank you very much.